Part 3, Planting the Platform For quite some time now, this tribe, on a planet oh so distant, had been constructing and designing their solutions slightly aslant. We can't, we shan't, they chant, rant, and pant. How can we possibly transplant? When every attempt seems to only exacerbate the current toxicant. A top-down implementation had been their only recommendation, while forgetting the sophistication of a deep relation to mystification. The physical being the only verification, the results a complete domestication, a forgetting of our interrelation, a blindness to our total unification. It took a devoted dissenter to suggest a trust in natural growth, a deep remembrance of the reflective truth in both. Our oath to not loathe, our need to reclothe, the mind of control and to allow for new undergrowth. Through the power of observation, the tribe allowed for the dream's incubation, the natural propagation, the releasing of expectation, no more need for medication for the balanced application of a peaceful mediation, carried the tribe into a new story of collective liberation. Part 4, Finding the People Tuning into each other at a depth such as this, abyss did enable the tribe to avoid the looming edifice, paralysis of removed and freedom integrated, complete metamorphosis, abiogenesis, giving life to organic matter, the ultimate antithesis. What was it that this Nuraway world did fate, create, something to fill a need, so simply intimate, appreciate the gifts of others in a way to circumnavigate, differentiate, each and every unique vibrational expression, reverberate and accelerate. With the power of intention, the beings of this tribe did sight, unite their story of value with creativity to reignite, invite those with complementary missions of sunlight, birthright, to give our gifts in total freedom, the rest just feels much too tight. Remembering their connection to the one staring back, a lack just didn't relate to the tribe's experiential almanac, cul-de-sac, returning to wealth within relationship, flickety-flack, yakety-yak, translates into a beautiful world to unpack and paddywhack. <laughs>